Amy, we hear all about the importance of looking after our immune system, but for those who don't know, what role does our immune system play in our body? So our immune system plays a pretty important role in our body. It is effectively an immunological army that protects us against any pathogens. We're not the only living creatures on this earth. We have viruses, bacteria, fungi, all manner of bugs that can make us sick. So there's a lot that we can do to help our immune system function at its very best. And so the more we look after it, the more it can look after us. I love that you've referred to it as a little bit of an army inside mm -hmm. our body. So what are some of the key nutrients we're looking for in our food that can help support our immune system? So on a cellular level, all nutrients are important, of course, but for our immunological army, they really need good levels of things like vitamin C, zinc, vitamin A and vitamin D. OK, so vitamin C has definitely got to be one of the most common that most people know. Citrus fruits, but then mm -hmm. in vegetables, things mm -hmm. like, I mean, red capsicum we've got here, even broccoli is a great source. Yes, that's right. So with vitamin C, it's a water-soluble nutrient, meaning you've got to consume it every single day. And it's very sensitive to heat, so those foods should ideally be eaten raw or just very lightly cooked. All right, I'm going to be eating all of these oranges. <laughs> Next, I want to focus on vitamin A and zinc. How do they work hand in hand? So they do have independent benefits that help the immune system in various ways, but together they're actually really important for the health of our lung tissue. And so any time we catch something that we're fighting off, that can really cause tissue damage. All right, I've got to say, when it comes to vitamin A, I love celebrating foods like eggs, dairy and fatty fish. Mm -hmm. And for zinc, the clear winners for me are things like shellfish, nuts and seeds, and my number one favourite, dark <laughs> chocolate. What about you? How do you get it? Yeah, I'd definitely be keen on all of those things, but I tell you what is probably a standout for me is pâté, Ooh. because pâté actually combines vitamin A and zinc in the single food. Got the vitamin C, we got the vitamin A and zinc. What about vitamin D? What role does that play in our immune function? Oh, how long have you got, Luke? <laughs> <laughs> Amy, how nice is it to be out in the fresh air? But I've got to say, we're probably not getting much <laughs> vitamin D right now. I'm afraid not, Luke. It's that time of year where not enough UVB is coming through. So vitamin D plays a really important role in our immune system. The most important one to understand is the way in which it helps our body fight off germs. If you have good levels of vitamin D, your immune system can mount an effective response. However, if they're too low, you're going to struggle to fight off Things like viruses and bacteria. So if you haven't made enough during summer and you're not getting enough through your diet, some people might need to take vitamin D as a supplement. The best thing you can do is speak to your healthcare practitioner to get the right advice for you. Lifestyle factors are also really important when it comes to having a healthy immune system. Things like stress and lack of sleep can really depress our immune function. So all in all, having a good belly laugh is very good for immunity too. Amy, I'm feeling well equipped, but seeing as you have said how important laughing is, <laughs> have you got a joke to kind of sign us off today? Here's a very terrible joke, Luke. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's that? Interrupting cow. Interrupting Moo. cow. You, <laughs> you got me there. I told you it was bad. You got me there. <laughs> Cows get lots of vitamin D. <laughs> they do, they do.